Hola a todos and welcome to our channel. We're Susie and Ricky and we recently spent two full weeks in the idyllic Mexico beach town of Acomal. Most people flock to Acomal for a glimpse of the famous sea turtles, which are confined all over the bay. However, there's so much more to see and do here and we recommend staying overnight if you can. In our video guide, we'll talk you through the absolute must-see things to do in Acomal, plus a few cool sightseeing spots a short drive from town. Discover the best snorkeling locations, vast underground caves, relaxing beach vibes, stunning cenotes, and much more in this tropical paradise. Hasta luego! The star attraction in Acomal is undoubtedly the beach. With soft white sand, clear water, and a long cove of beautiful scenery, it's widely regarded as one of the best beaches in Mexico's east coast. A coral reef is located just offshore, so the sea is almost always calm, and it's shallow water in most areas. Perfect if you want to go for a swim. One of the highlights of visiting Acomal Beach is the chance to see some incredible sea turtles. To ensure you have the best chance of seeing them, we recommend a guided tour, as they'll take you further out to the seagrass where the turtles feed. The best times for turtle spotting are early morning around 8am and late afternoon around 5pm. Don't forget to take your waterproof phone or GoPro camera to capture those unforgettable moments. If your hotel is located on the beachfront, you'll gain access to the beaches for free. Otherwise, you need to pay 100 pesos, which is payable at the entrance and includes locker rental and use of the changing rooms and showers. If you want a break from the sun on Acomal Beach or fancy a spot of gift shopping, the small streets beyond the Acomal Arches are a great place to check out. This slightly hidden area is home to a number of gift shops, clothing stores and a couple of very cool and colourful bars and restaurants. We personally bought a cool Christmas decoration here and enjoyed a cocktail with some upbeat music at the bar. Expect vibrant colours and Day of the Dead star decoration everywhere. Just north of Acomal Bay, Half Moon Bay is a quieter and larger stretch of beach that's shaped like, you guessed it, a half moon. It's one of the best things to do in Acomal for quiet relaxation. It features long scenic walks and is also a good spot for snorkeling, being a lot less crowded than Acomal Bay due to its lack of snorkeling tours. It's also a popular place to stay in the area, with a long stretch of private condos, houses and a couple of small hotels. Most tourists only visit the beachfront whilst in Acomal, not realising there's a small local town that's only a 20 minute walk away. Acomal Pueblo is inland from the beach and is accessible by car or by walking over the highway overpass. It has a completely different atmosphere compared to the tourist packed Acomal Beach, being the main residential area for locals. On the way to Acomal Town, you'll come across vibrant wall murals that add a dash of colour to the streets. There are also a few local restaurants and coffee shops in the town for those who want to have a true local experience. Be sure to try those tacos, they only cost a few pesos and are absolutely delicious. The Riviera Maya region of Mexico is home to countless cenotes and underground rivers, including the magnificent Acton Chen, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was featured in National Geographic's Best Underground Caves in the World list. This vast underground network of caves was once the spiritual retreat for the Mayans and they're held to very high regard. The caves are said to date back up to 5 million years, creating a labyrinth of impressive rock formations. Stalagmite and stalacites are everywhere to be seen and the best cave is left until last, showcasing a beautiful section of the underground river. Acton Chen is part of an organised national park and to visit you'll need to book a tour on their official website or with a third party tour agent. The full cave tour takes around one hour and this is the must see attraction here, but they also have a number of other things to see and do. Once you've explored the underground cave, you can spend some time with nature and see the animals they have at the park. You may even get an ola or a wolf whistle from the parrots. Other activities on offer include swimming in cenote, zipline and adventure 
and various packages that cover all activities. At the far northern point of Akomal, Yaku Lagoon is a freshwater lagoon that meets the mouth of the ocean. Go snorkelling with colourful tropical fish and embrace the beauty of the lagoon. It's the single best place for guaranteed tropical fish swimming around you in their hundreds. To get there, you can either take a taxi, rent a golf cart or walk 20 minutes from the Akamal beach area of town. Entry costs 300 pesos per person, plus the cost of any snorkelling equipment that you rent. Be sure to arrive early in the morning to avoid the crowds and have the whole lagoon to yourself. Later in the day, the water in the lagoon can be more cloudy due to more swimmers kicking up the silt. One of the top things to do when visiting Mexico is swimming in at least one or two cenotes. Cenotes are large underground sinkholes resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock and make a relaxing spot to swim and relax for the day. If you want to visit some cenotes while staying in Acamal or as part of a combined trip to the beach town, you can't miss Canton Chi Nature Park. A huge advantage of Canton Chi Nature Park is that it has five cenotes in one destination, plus an underground river walk so you don't have to trek to multiple cenotes. If you're looking to visit a few cenotes and don't fancy travelling far, then this is a great option. If you arrive and it's busy at the first cenote, head on to the second or third so you can experience them in peace and quiet. We had many of the cenotes to ourselves during our visit. Canton Chi is a 10 minute drive north of Akamal. No visit to Aquaman will be complete without visiting one of the best attractions in Mexico. Escaret Park is a huge theme park that has been carved out of the natural scenery and is designed to give you an all-in-one Mexico experience. Technically, it's located in Playa del Carmen, a 30-minute drive north of Aquaman, but we highly recommend visiting if you're staying in Aquaman. The water side of the park features three long underground rivers where you can swim, a snorkeling reef, an amazing aquarium and other water activities for you to enjoy. The other side of Escaret Park has more traditional Mexican attractions. You can wander through a colourful Mexican village, see real Mayan ruins, experience a live show or stop by one of the many animal exhibits. We recommend arriving first thing when the park opens as it gets really busy during peak times. We also suggest pre-planning your trip on your phone so you know exactly where you want to go and what you want to see before arriving. Be sure to check out our tips and tricks guide to Escaret Park on our website for more information.
One of the best things to do in Akamal is not only visiting the cool attractions on offer, but also staying there. We spent 10 nights in the Akamal Bay Beach and Wellness Resort and can honestly say it was one of the best hotel experiences we've ever had. You have the idyllic Akamal Beach on your doorstep and can snorkel as much as you like. You're not limited to a short single day visit or one hour snorkeling tour. So there you have it, our guide on the best things to do in and around Akamal. We hope you enjoyed watching and were able to get a real feel for this beautiful town in the Mexican Yucatan Peninsula. If there are any other places that you recommend checking out, then please let us know in the comment section below, as we're certain we'll be back in the future. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more holiday content and inspiration.